Willi går over til venstre. Willi? Willi <laughs> Er den smeltet? Ej, det er den ikke. <laughs> det var smeltet. You guys and welcome back to another video. I finally picked up a pair of empires. I think that's how you say it. There are a lot of comments on my my video about top five pants and skateboarding. The comments were about, oh, you needed to have the empires on that list. They were the empires. So I finally picked a pair up. As a lot of you probably don't know, empires don't really exist in Europe. At least I haven't seen him at any skate shop at all. Um, but as you know, I just I've just been to Canada. I went to uh, my local poser shop, Zoomies. Bang bang ski ski, dude. My name is Bryson. You already know my name. I'm gonna show you guys another beautiful day at the office. 13 Thrasher hoodies. That's nine thousand thirty-seven three dollars. Did you guys want to pay with debit, credit, or cash? You guys need help yet? I ask you if you need help. I'll help you. You know what help is? H E L P. I got it. In this video, I'm just gonna be comparing them to the Polar 93s, as I feel like it's a pretty good reference point to have for this video, hence I've already gone over this pant before in a previous video. Anyways, let's get straight into it. So as you can see, I've I bought the uh, Empires in a larger size than I have my 93s. I bought them in a 34 and I have my 93s in 32 times 32, uh, if that makes sense. Uh, so the Empires are a bit longer, uh, not by much though. Also the waist is a little bit wider, but it's not, it's not by much by any means. I usually wear a belt with all my pants, so it doesn't really make that much uh, of a difference. It basically just makes the pants a little bit baggier. So anyways, the pants are pretty similar in like the fitting aspect or whatever. The, um, the width of the legs is pretty similar. It looks very similar at least. And you can see the material on the 93s doesn't look as black as the the empires. I basically had the 93s there, uh, these black ones since October of last year. So I've worn them quite a bit and uh, they actually used to be the same color as the empires kind of. So generally I feel like the material is a bit thicker on the 93s than the empires just from like me feeling like I haven't actually measured it, but also feels like higher quality, but that would also make sense. I literally paid 70 Canadian dollars, but that was the retail price. I probably paid two and a half times as much for the 93s compared to the empires, which is kind of insane, honestly. Like, it, like the material is probably just a tad bit worse on the empires. It's not even that much worse. So I think it's kind of insane. It's definitely worth it to, to just go with the empires if you're like choosing between the two and the price is, um, a big factor for you. Um, so if we move up a bit, you can see that the Empire also has like a little stitch thingy, like the 93s have that little guy there. Uh, they both have it. Anyways, uh, they also both have a back accent. I don't, I don't know what you would call this. If we take a look at the back pockets, they're really similar in the shape as well and also the depth of them. Um, but if we try to compare the front pocket, the 93s have a way deeper pocket than the Empire's. I'll just show you for reference here. Here's, here's an iPhone 6S and I'll just show you like it. You can see on the footage here, it just goes way deeper in my pocket compared to the Empire's. Like it goes into the pocket nicely, like it'll sit there like but honestly, I don't really dare skate with my phone in my pocket when I'm wearing the Empires. Like if I fall, like my phone could easily slip out. Like it's not even, it's not in there that secure. So I would definitely also take that into consideration. There's also the button. So I also felt that the button was way harder to open and close on the Empires than the 93s. This might also be because I've had the 93s for a bit um so it's just gotten like worn in really nicely uh, i can't say this for sure is an issue because i haven't had the empires for that long as of right now i don't know it kind of feels you can definitely feel like from the button aspect it feels a bit less quality on the empires but that's to be expected though <laughs> that's totally to be expected <laughs> I 
usually go a size bigger because I like the baggier look, but I I have to cuff them because they're too long for me. But I would just say like the cuff on the 93s is definitely nicer. Like they have a bigger, like, I don't know, ending to the pant, I guess I would say, than the, than the Empires. Um, so I would say the cuff definitely isn't as satisfying on the Empires. In conclusion, you know, I would probably still pick the, the Polar 93s because I don't know, I just love the way they fit and they're so comfortable because I haven't really broken my Empires in enough. Honestly, if Empires were available here in Europe, I probably would have just kept on buying those instead of the Polars because they're so much cheaper. Yeah, so if Empires were available here in Europe, I would definitely probably just rock with those for sure because of the price. Like, yeah, I don't know, I think the price for the Polars is just... It's just ridiculous at this point. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it and um, I hope you get your skate on during the week.